Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic looking portable radios, <laughs> then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Right on, you heard me say that. Classic looking new radio. That's what we got in front of us. The Panasonic RF 562D FM medium wave shortwave portable radio. Yes, I'm reading it off the box. <laughs> um, I got a suggestion by um, Golan Klinger. He mentioned this, and I didn't know anything about it. I looked it up, and I'm like, eh, I guess I'll give it a go. Some people loved it. Some people hated it. Uh, majority of people loved it. So I'm like, all right, we'll see what this thing can do. So here it is in front of me. Uh, it came from Amazon for a total of $48.99 shipped. It's a little pricey for what it is. I'll just put it right out there. But it does fill that nostalgic feeling for those who are used to this kind of radio set and are having a difficult time finding a used one, uh, an older style one, and they want to get something new. And, and I guess that fits the bill for this. So let's go ahead and show you what we got. So here's the box. Panasonic. Model number. What I write off. <laughs> kind of a picture there. Kind of fuzzy looking picture. But uh, it comes with a carrying case, which I'll show you. Um, you have one battery operation, so it takes D-cell batteries. Three-band reception. Okay. Yeah, this box is pretty beat up because <laughs> Amazon decided to send this radio with a big UPS sticker across here, and that's how they sent it to me in the mail. Not even taped shut, just like this. I'm like, what are you guys thinking? Ugh, Amazon, stop it. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. It took me forever to peel the label off. There's even some sticky residue still. Uh, but anyway, if you guys order it, just tell them, hey, I want a box for my radio. Um, so this radio I don't think was re released for the United States because there's a bunch of different languages here. And I'm guessing this was more for like a different market. But let's go over. It's got a uh, little bit of information, how to tune your radio set, how to use your radio set, how to add the carrying strap. Here we get the frequency chart for the frequency nuts in you. <laughs> yeah, it's 1605. We'll test that tonight. Maybe we can go a little higher. On the medium wave scale, 80 to 108 FM, short wave, 4.75 to 18. Earlier today, got some good signals. Um, it runs on 2D batteries. We'll talk about that. Their speaker size, output, 800 milliwatts. Yeah, you don't you won't find yourself turning it past half, probably. It gets a little too tinny and too sharp sounding. So, but we'll, again, we'll talk. So here's the box. There it is. Do, 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 do. Okay, done with the box. Inside was two pieces of styrofoam holding the radio. Thank God. Um, what do we get in there? I got this little piece of paper. This is all I got. I didn't get a manual. Maybe it fell out. <laughs> do not heat or expose to flame. Good idea. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's all I got for instructions. So it came with this cool looking case. So the radio fits in here. It's it's not really leather. It's like a cheap vinyl thing. But uh, radio fits in there and it snaps. There's four little snaps there. And it lets to get you all the controls. So it's kind of neat. You know, and the Panasonic name sticks out here. So, yeah, I like it. Tuning, volume, off power. Okay, so cool. It tells you everything that's going on. Speaker is not that big. It's like this big. <laughs> but there you go. That's cool. They got that included, and it also came with this really funky-looking vinyl wrist strap dealio. It was in the battery compartment. I thought it fell out of the box, but uh, I opened the battery compartment. There it was. <laughs> Good thing. Whoops. <laughs> Falling on the table now. Yeah, I thought I lost it, but it is there. Yay. All right, let's get to the radio. Do, 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 do. The Panasonic. All right, I'm going to lower this down. Get a closer look. All right, there we go. A lot of silver looking embellishments here. Like a chrome kind of look to it. I like that classic look. Nice. Um, let's give you dimensions real fast. We have eight and a quarter inches wide, four and five eighths of an inch high. And a case depth of two and a half inches, and I included the knobs. So that made sense too. Yeah, it's a pretty thick radio, definitely. Um, you know, I lowered that a little too far. <laughs> Let me bring it back up a little so you guys can see a comparo um, with this radio. And I got, since I just recently reviewed the Texan 9700DX. Yes, this does a lot for the same money. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, and I'm going to put a link down below for this one because <laughs> this is an awesome radio, and this is does a lot, this one does, but this one does a few extra things for the same amount of money. And, but again, classic vibe, 
new age, you know. So, but there you go. There's a picture. There. Oh yeah, here's a here's an 880. We can just kind of sneak in the picture. Our digital radio. Yeah, I can't. I was gonna grab a vintage Panasonic, but I don't really have anything vintage Panasonic that has shortwave FM AM. So I have to get one of those <laughs> eventually. Eventually, I'll get that 2200. I want that 2200. I keep looking, they're just they want too much money for that dang thing. It's like two, three hundred bucks. Like, yikes! I know it's the best AM radio out there, but portable. But we'll see. This little guy is awesome. So, you got to see the size. And I you know what? I got Iron Man hanging out. Iron Man, he's invincible. Iron Man. All right, I'm sure it's not a theme, theme song, but here we go. Idea for size. Okay. All right, so let's go over features of the Panasonic. All right, 562D. I thought D meant digital. Thank God it wasn't digital. I'm like, man, it's going to be a step tune thing, and it's not. We're happy for that. So side here, it's pla everything's plastic on this thing. There's no metal. You got this flat black on each side and a high-gloss center piece. Um, nothing on that side. Up here, we have a spot for that strap, that carrying strap, which is good. It has a carrying strap. You need it. The front, we have the dial. I like this long dial. It's nice. Um, it's got kind of like a green color with the silver there. Um, it's not perfect. I mean, there's some light scratches in it, probably from shipping. Not in a real box. It was shipped in the, the box that came in. What the frick? <laughs> um, FM, medium wave, short wave, portable radio. So there you go. There's your ranges. You can see it. Um, I read them off earlier. The short wave band is probably most people are looking at. Um, it says 5.0 to 18. So you get just under five and a little about right on 18 there. So it says big speaker. Um, yeah, it's not a big speaker. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know if like, I don't know who owns Panasonic now. I don't know. But big speaker, what? Um, RF562 tuning knob. Um, this tuning knob, it is okay to tune. It sometimes has some, uh, what do you call that? feels pretty stiff and it has like a little bit of kickback to it so like when you're tuning shortwave oh it gets really hard you have to go real slow and it kind of like you have to kind of like fish it fishtail it in should i say you, you kind of click it in a little bit and let it go back and click it in a little bit and let it go back so it's a little fun finicky tuning thing but uh it's not bad overall uh here's your volume control yay on off speakers right there it measures eight centimeters um which is a little over three inches I'm going to say three inches. Panasonic. All right. Is there a scratch in there? Better not be. Okay. <laughs> um, on the right-hand side, we have a earphone. Yes. Single ear only. I did not test it because I did not want to test single ear. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm not going to listen to this thing with headphones. No way. No how. Uh-uh. <laughs> Ain't going to happen. All right. So the back of the radio. Oh, wait. Top of the radio. So it's right here. Uh, so you get an antenna that goes out to 32 inches. It's a monster. Um, but it doesn't swivel. There's no swivel here. Goes to this way, and it's, there's a lock right here, so it doesn't go quite 180. It stops right about there. You know, that's it. It's about all you're gonna get. Unfortunately, that's kind of a bummer. Uh, but it's not a deal breaker because this thing has killer reception, which I was like shocked. I'm like, all right. So it's got a little gap in the plastic, but it's normal, I guess. Shiny matte black. Okay, so the back of this radio. And we'll turn it on and fire up through the tune. So we got a vented case here. We got the model number, classic Panasonic embellishment. I like that. I like how it's imprinted in the plastic. Uh, made in Indonesia. Okay. Uh, let's see. We got a band select switch, FM, medium wave, short wave. So it's like a three position. We'll start on the FM. Caution: replace with fresh batteries of the same kind. Observing polarity. So behind here's your 2D batteries. Uh, pretty easy to put in. I mean, that was like the easiest battery compartment I've ever used as far as putting batteries in it. And I think it closed. Okay, there we go. In the bottom, we got like a little feet there to keep it nice and stable. Um, don't really even think it needs feet, but you get them. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm going to be able to extend this antenna. I'm going to end up hitting things, but we'll see what we can do here. So we are going to go FM. I think I'll moderate the length here. I might be able to do this without hitting too much. We'll turn it on. We'll start at the bottom of the FM band, and we'll go through it. Should be FM. Conversation with 
Scott Weeman about his book, The Twelve Steps and the Sacraments. We're going to get into the sacrament. It's a sacramental part. We're going to lay the foundation. Test there. Co-op. Hey, folks. Mike Papantonio's new book entitled. Oh man, what the dance music! All reports: Best Children's Hospitals. She arrived, Sammy was given a 5% chance of survival. So not bad in the FM band. It's getting a lot of stations. Come on, it's a DC. That's awesome. <laughs> So this is 99.5. So the dial seems pretty accurate in the FM. Small payments. Rental purchase transactions. Cease to work. Pouring just because on my rolls I spent the dough. Yeah, shining like a book. That is don't get. Probably copyright. I'm <laughs> something like that. I don't want it. <laughs> ACDC night. <laughs> Sweet. This is a um, 103.9, so we're pretty pretty good on the dial. <laughs> Getting a little stiff on the tuner now towards the end. Kind of has a weird way of distorting as it's leaving the station, but uh, otherwise, it comes in clear when you get the station locked. Hey man, listen, these MCs are not your All right, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go do something a little different. We're going to go down to shortwave since I got my antenna extended, and we're going to just see if we can find anything on the shortwave, and then we'll go to Radio Totterbird, and then we'll go finish up with some medium wave tonight. Yeah, that's how it's going to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch it all the way over to the shortwave. 
Start at the bottom of the scale, and uh, we'll just do it with the whip and see what happens. Let me just fully extend it. I wish I could swivel this thing, because this would just be a hassle, I think. So let's see. All right. I have to kind of hold it up to the dial here. Now, it's really hard to tune on short waves, so it's fun to let you know that. you got to take your time. The actual location of radio station KAZ. Hold on a second. Let me make sure that I'm on shortwave. I thought shortwave was all the way to the end. Yeah, it is. I never heard of this. It's being so loud. Whoops. Which presidential aircraft is Air Force One? Okay. The answer to that question is quite simple. Whatever airplane. So this must be like 4850 or something like that. I think there's always something on that station. Let's look at our time signal. I think it's there. You can hear that creaking. It's it's part of the type of tuner it is. I was able to get time signal on 10 megahertz today. See, that's how hard it is to tune. Oh, they're scared. Okay, so that's where 5.000 megahertz is. And that's hard to tune. Yeah, I should show you that. Barely moving this knob. Music thing done. Cool. You need to uh, clue me in as to what role you play in the show. Well, first set on. Yeah, I'm moving it slow, guys. I don't know if I have enough time on the video. I, mean, I could zip through it, but. It's kind of cool picking up stuff. We should get something number six. Let's go a little quicker. Air generation forever. Can we comprehend what? Thanks, sir. Brother Brennan spoke about you. Now, this is pretty cool for a little shortwave radio, not bad. Having fun with it. Whoa. More music. That's cool. Almost sounds like some type of anthem or something. <laughs> cool. This is all on the whip, too. There's so much between this band here. Oh, we're going to cut it out around 7. Oh yeah, and you can see the, how they mark the bands. That's cool. The meter bands, 49 meter, 41 meter. Then you get your log scale there. Cool. A little bit of pulse, uh, what do you call it? CW? <laughs> Let 
All right, so I got a taste of the shortwave. That's pretty good. Um, not bad for a, a nice little classic looking radio. Okay, I don't know why I turned that off. Let's go ahead and go to uh, medium wave, which is in the middle there. I'm gonna go ahead and, whoa, retract this 33 inch monster. <laughs> yeah, so that was pretty decent uh, reception with, with no external help and no wire attached. So imagine putting a wire or two on that. So awesome. So for AM, I'm gonna zoom on down because it's a lot easier. Um, I don't know. I'll probably just do some quickie, try to find some stations that are um, distant, and then you know, I'll do a full band scan later, and then we'll even try this with a loop. So, Oh, wait a minute. Radio Totterbird. Radio Totterbird. We forgot about Radio Totterbird. I talked about doing it. We can't forget about Radio Totterbird. <laughs> Let's fire up it up. All right. 98.1. Static there trying to pick it up. I think because. Oh, there we Going past half, just, just crazy too loud. Tiber shutting down. All right, so let's go ahead and get the medium wave. Yeah, that was a cool little audio check. Um, not a lot of bass, but really good mid range as far as for voice. Um, not bad. You know, I, I think it's a really good radio to listen to for like talk radio and that. So let's go ahead and let's go to the AM band and see what we hear there. Steady. This is usually the direction I get most of my stations because it's in between both. Or keeping you from sleeping through the night. It's open for Texas to sell to. It's Republican Senator Ted. But the best deal is that it's post game. Whatever it was that drew you there. So that was 6, uh, 650 WSM before. It's coming in beautiful. This is local. Probably 690. 700. Oh, Cincinnati. WLW. Cincinnati. Little 
Zoomer, CFCM, Toronto. WGR, Detroit. Seven eighty WBM. I'm just gonna scroll right through. Comedy on eight hundred, I think. CHML, Canada. The Louisiana purchase is complete. 830. Were on the subject of dangerous 840. Like... And then one day he decided to... Right. And then he produces the fruit. Right? Romans 622. So it's like he really he does it all. WWL, yeah, well, Louisiana. Right, I think people are really struggling. What is your pot? Yeah. Right? Um, 1039 p.m. <laughs> 10.39 p.m. Central Standard Time. So we're doing an evening band scan. I'm near Chicago. That was Groucho Marx on 1020, KDKA, Carry Pittsburgh. Alright, this thing's tons, so we'll go ahead and turn it off because <laughs> it's going a little long. We'll definitely explore a full band scan on a future episode of the Medium Wave. You know it. And then if we need a loop, we'll bring the loop out. We'll call it a loop session. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go over final thoughts of the Panasonic RF562D Retro um, Big Speaker <laughs> Radio for $48.99. Um, it, okay, it's really cool vintage vibe. I really like how sensitive it is on all the bands. It's it's like more sensitive than I thought it would be. Um, kind of impressed by that. Uh, not bad at all. I'm not impressed with the um, total plastic cabinet quality. I mean, you know, the way they shipped it. I mean, that's Amazon's fault, I think. Um, but then it might have came across the sea and stuff because this wasn't intended for the U.S. market. But, uh, you know, it's not bad overall. It looks really cool in that case. Um, also a vinyl dude here. Um, I was, it came shipped in the case. Yeah, I'll show you. I've got to do what that looks like. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. Yeah, now you're styling. Now it's old school. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, if you're looking for a really cool vintage radio that's like modern build, um, and it's not digital. It's not a digital step tuning thing. It's pure analog. Um, for forty eight ninety nine, yeah, it's worth a buy. It really is, because um, it's just it's got some character to it. It's got you know, you see a lot of those um, you know, vintage radios. They just look dorky. You know, know who makes them? Crosley or something. I don't know what the names are. The brand, but um, for Panasonic making a, a vintage style seventy esque uh, type radio is pretty cool, and having it be so sensitive. Uh, on the bands really is just a, a nice nice touch um, difficult to tune on short wave but not so difficult on medium wave I actually liked how it tuned on the medium wave and um, FM it comes in great but getting used to that that high uh, distortion as you leave the channel or enter the channel so it gets a little getting used to but when you're on the channel it's rocking so um, you heard speaker quality is decent so yeah definitely worth the money um, I would give it a buy solid buy um, if you're in a market for a regular um, shortwave FM AM radio uh, that doesn't need to be like this looking looking like this uh, go with the the Texan um, this bad boy right here I just gotta plug this one I just reviewed it this is amazing this does everything that this radio does and it does more because FM stereo dual conversion I mean this is just a and the speaker here sounds better than the speaker even though I think they're the same size 
um, and the build quality of this Texan is is better, even with a thinner cabinet. Um, so, but that's just letting you know if you want the more modern style, even has a light too, you know, when you have it on, this lights up. So go see that video, I'll put that link up there. So that's why I'd say, say if you like the vintage look, grab this radio. <laughs> so big thumbs up if you like the video, big thumbs up if you like this radio. Um, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell icon. Ding, ding, ding. Todd Burger made a new video. Every night he makes a new video. <laughs> it seems like, I, yeah, I don't think I've skipped a night. Every night you guys get you guys get something. Isn't that, isn't that fun? <laughs> you guys are probably spoiled, I think. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm spoiled. You guys are great. I got too many subscribers. You guys are just awesome. Love you guys. Um, so, yeah, uh, subscribe if you're new. You're going to love it, and it's worth it. I mean, it's worth your time, and, and you get to see a lot of new, neat new stuff, especially this radio. Um, new to me. And, uh, yeah, comment on what you think about the RF562D. Is it for you? Is it for me? <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.